What's up, YouTube? Today, it's been a while since I've been on here to see you guys, I know. But I have a new piece of gear that I want to review for you guys. And what we're going to be talking about today is a holster. This particular holster is made by a company called Works, W-E-R-K-Z. And, you know, I remember back probably, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, there wasn't that many holsters out. Uh, if you wanted a, a good holster, you had like Black Hawk, you know, that was kind of the best maybe duty style holster. And then aside from that, you had your Uncle Mike's and uh, you know, just the things that weren't worth a crap. And now there's a ton of companies that make holsters and uh, they're far better than they were years ago, but it's still hard to find one just right. And I think Works has done a great job at creating one that, uh, you know, does everything really well, in my opinion. Uh, some of the features that I like about their holsters is that you're not having to go through and select, you know, uh, optic cut, tall iron sights, and then this, this highly specialized holster. If that's what you want, there are companies that do that, but, but their gun or their holsters will accommodate pretty much really uh, any modification within reason that you have on your gun. The only specific thing is light so obviously all different kinds of weapon lights are different shapes and sizes and so works uh, can pretty much accommodate any light that you can buy and this particular holster does not have uh, the light bearing option um, i just don't have a light on this gun that i'm using it with but lights are really important uh, if you think about if you look at statistics and things like that most you know encounters that you're going to have where you're needing to use your weapon are going to either be in low light or dark conditions um, and so it, it's really good to have a light on your gun because you have to be able to id your target you have to be able to see before you could shoot and so they're just important to have on a gun that uh, that you're concealed carrying or, or if you're if you're out at night you need a, a gun that has a light on it that has and you have a holster that can accommodate that so let's dig into this holster a few things that I like about it right off the bat, again, I told you that they will already accommodate many accessories within reason, and those are the tall iron sights. I don't run those, but a lot of you guys run those tall suppressor height iron sights uh, to kind of clear your optic if you have an optic on your pistol. So they've already got the tall channel here to accommodate that. It's optic cut, so you don't have to select whether you want it to be optic cut or not. It just, it's already cleared for it, so it's cut way up here. And I'll show you guys some pictures, but you can see here in the video that that whole section is really clear. So if you wanted to run a red dot on your gun, you can do that with these. Uh, your magazine release button is exposed. A lot, of, uh, a lot of people add those extended mag releases on their guns, and they won't fit in there. Now you could argue whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Some people like that covered for additional security so their mag doesn't get bumped out, but I've never had a problem with that happening to me. But uh, you know, I just like that that is another thing that you're not gonna get the holster and be like, oh crap, I forgot my mag release button was extended and now it doesn't fit. So you don't have to worry about that. So you got the tall iron sights, the optic cut, the mag release, and then it's open-ended. So it doesn't, if I wanted to run a Glock 34 in this, I could, the barrel's gonna stick way out, but I could. So running Glocks, you can use multiple different guns with this one holster. And then, you know, a lot of you guys run the threaded barrels and things like that. I don't personally do that, but if you did, you're not gonna have to worry about that hindering, uh, you know, the holster there. So that's just the features of the, holst uh, the holster as far as how it accommodates the weapon. Now let's talk about some other things they've done. This is an appendix style carry holster. I don't carry appendix a lot, but what I like about this is you can also, um, you know, move it to three or four o'clock if you want. And some things that are cool about this, they have this claw. You guys see that on a lot of different holster, uh, holsters that you get that are inside the waistband. The cool thing about this one, it's ribbed. So it's going to actually provide some sort of uh, resistance from slipping around. So some problems I've had in the past is you might wear something like that and, and the holster begin to cant. This is not gonna do that because the ribs on that claw will grab whatever it is they're pressing against. And they also send another one that's a little bit um, thinner. 
so it doesn't quite push in as much as, as this one does, so you can kind of customize that a little bit to your liking. So you've got the claw there, you've got a good sturdy plastic clip right there. Uh, it's wide, it's in the center, and then you can also cant that. So it's got adjustments on the, on the clip to where you could turn it one way or the other. And then you've got the different mounting holes here. Uh, if you wanted to move some things around, they've got attachments you can add for um, you know, an additional magazine if you wanted to put that on there. And then the other thing that's really cool that's um, probably the best feature, well, one of the best features as far as concealability is this little, you know, I think they call it a muzzle bump or something like that, but you can see how this back side of the holster is a little bit thicker than the front side. And the reason for that is a lot of times when you're carrying in the waistband, the handle, the, the grip of the pistol will begin to kind of flop out and it, and it just really shows that you're carrying a gun. And companies have tried to overcome this in the past by adding a, like a, a, a padding and you can get different widths or whatever you want of different foam padding to just Velcro on there. Man, it just looks like crap. It doesn't work. They're always coming undone and it's just garbage, man. And what this, what works has done is they have built that into the holster. So that little bump on the back side of the holster is, is part of the holster. So you don't have to worry about, you know, it being, uh, it coming off or, or, you know, the Velcro stickiness ripping off or anything like that. It's, it's on there. It doesn't dig into you. It's not so much that it's uncomfortable, but it's enough to keep the grip of the pistol hidden. And so those are just some cool things that I thought they did really well. And uh, so I'm just gonna get out here and shoot, work some draws from the holster with this and, um, and see how it does. All right guys, so I have been carrying this holster around a little bit just to kind of see how you know the comfort is, see how it, uh, how it feels when you're just wearing it. Uh, out and around getting in and out of your vehicle and things like that and it, it's been pretty comfortable i've got it right now in the appendix style carry again i don't that's not a i guess maybe not my preferred position to carry but uh but i do sometimes and and it's just it, you know it's comfortable it's maybe a little more comfortable than some of the other ones because of how that uh, that little muzzle bump is not being too much like the padding and then just kind of shifting around so uh, but anyways I haven't done any shooting with it draws or anything like that and with any gear uh, it's important that you get out and test it and that you not that you just say all right well it doesn't look like anything would go wrong and it's pretty comfortable I'm not you know I'm good to go I'm just going to carry with it and I'm not going to go shoot with it that's not a good idea you should always get out and test your gear and so that's what I'm going to do here today I haven't done any draws taken any shots or anything like that with this holster so I'm just going to do a couple single shot uh, on this steel silhouette here and just make sure there's no hiccups and see how it goes All right, so there's three uh, single shot from the holster. It did well, no hiccups. The holster didn't shift around, didn't slide. So I didn't expect it to, but again, it's always important to get out and test your gear and not just uh, assume that everything's gonna work fine. All right, so now I've got this gun at about, I guess, four o'clock right here. So you can see I've got it there. I left the claw on it. I think it does a good job. It's still aiding in concealability just as it does in the appendix. And, you know, a lot of you may say, oh, well, that's way slower than your appendix or, uh, you know, it's not as good of a carry position. And we could have that debate all day long. But the fact of the matter is, is I'm going to carry more often in a position that is comfortable. <clears throat> and hey, if four o'clock is a half or one second slower, but I've got my gun with me, I'll take that any day over not having the gun with me because it's just so freaking uncomfortable to have in the appendix position. So 
you know, that's just my preference. A gun that you're going to carry in a position that you're going to carry it, even if it's slower and not as powerful as of a gun, is better than the one that you leave at home because it's uncomfortable or too big or whatever the case is. So we'll take some shots from this position. <clears throat> this is just, uh, maybe this is a little more uh, for the sake of this carry position and not the holster because the reason I put it on there was to make sure that it would work and still conceal. And you guys see that it does. Uh, it's, I feel like it's hidden pretty well, maybe even more so than it is in the appendix. So I'll take some shots here. All right, there you go. Just as smooth and easy, maybe probably a little bit slower than the appendix carry. But all in all, guys, I think this is a great option um, for the holster that you want if you wanted to carry in the waistband. And they also have some out of the waistband holsters as well. This is the M6, I believe, is the, the model number or name uh, of this particular holster. And again, it comes in all different kinds of variations, different guns, different lights, uh, if, you, if you want that. They're really big on light accommodating holsters. So if you're looking for something, maybe you have a particular light or a particular combination that you just can't find, go check them out. I guarantee you they have it. Uh, it's, it's a great option. It's built well. They have a lifetime guarantee on the holster. A great company and producing a great product. So thank you, Works, for, uh, for sending this out uh, to review. And this is, I've done a lot of different holster reviews in the past, and this honestly is probably one of my favorite ones just because all of the features are built into one. It's a smooth, clean design. And again, it's got all of those features for the, you know, if you wanted tall iron sights, if you're running an optic, all of those things that seem to get in the way and make it hard to find a holster, they've cut all that out so that it'll fit any of those. So go check them out. It's the Works Holster, W-E-R-K-Z. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, like the channel, subscribe, drop us a comment below. Let us know if you've tried them out and if you have what you think about them. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.